Round two in South Africa, six weeks after Brazil. Summit meeting between Nicky Lauda and James Hunt. Hunt for the second time in the season on pole position. Well, they were already shaping up to be the title rivals as Guy Ligier and new young star Jacques Lafitte discussed the chances of their car for the weekend. Well, with Hunt moving from the Hesketh team into the big leagues with McLaren, replacing Emerson Fittipaldi, this was certainly his best chance at the championship title. But for Fittipaldi and brother Wilson, running their own team was a dream come true that was soon to turn into a nightmare. With Hunt again on pole, the field gets away five and six wide down the long front straight at Kyle Army. And again, the V12 power of Nicky Lauda's Ferrari tells as he leads the Englishman into the first turn. Lotus had swapped its drivers, Mario Andretti and Ronnie Peterson, for Bob Evans and another Swede, Gunnar Nielsen. Andretti joined the Parnelli outfit. Peterson had gone to March. But Lauda stayed with Ferrari, and he was comfortably leading the early stages of the South African Grand Prix. Super Tall Airboxes marking out the progress of the Ligier, the first car to wear French Racing Blue in Grand Prix Racing since the retirement of Amade Gordini's eponymous outfit in 1956. With Jacques Lafitte at the wheel, the car going well, but not as well as loud as Ferrari, leading comfortably. Regazzoni mired in the midfield in battles of his own. Hunt's teammate Jochen Mass passing the slowing Lotus of Gunnar Nielsen. Clutch problems putting him out on lap 32. Behind Lauda, Hunt second, Mass in third. The Mass better than 40 seconds further back. And that's the way they finish at Kyle Army. The McLarens unable to match the Ferrari for pace. Nicky Lauda makes it two wins to start the season.